So if you don't a whole house, I imagine you're gonna do at least five gallons, which will cost you about two hundred dollars. All right, so we're gonna be putting on a skim coat right now and changing the entire look of the outside of the house. Does it look good? On today's video, we're gonna be using the bare stucco and brick paint to freshen up this property on the outside. So save yourself a couple hundred or maybe even a couple thousand dollars and just do this yourself. So this is a pro shed resistant woven paint roller and this is our bare charcoal-ish scenery stucco and brick paint. When you're painting a brick wall, you do not want to just seal it. If you're living in the climate where there is winter season, meaning that water freezes and then thaws, freezes and then thaws. If you seal it, there's gonna be a problem because there's not gonna be any air coming through. That portion of the area could actually start deteriorating under the paint and you would never know because it looks perfect on the outside. I did pick up paint from Home Depot though, I gotta admit. It's masonry, stucco, and brick paint. I spoke with a friend of mine who owns a construction company. He said there's some paint called, I think, Distraction or Discovery, Troy paints. It's like $90, whereas that was about $47 plus tax, Canadian. So let's just stop talking and let's just start doing. Pretty much a little like this, but a little darker. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good, but everything is gray. But then let's give it a go. So that would be gray as well. Hmm. I'm still not 100% if I wanna have the gray, but I do need the gray right there to cover up the red. So I think it looks pretty decent. I mean, even as a skim coat, if we can imagine that shade of color right there. What do you guys think? Do you think that would work? I'm gonna just try painting a little section probably here. See how the roller sticks and how the brush sticks to it. Okay, so first impressions of the paint, it goes on very easily. Definitely gonna need a brush or use the professional roller to get it into the grooves. This is definitely gonna work. All right, so we're gonna be putting on a skim coat right now and changing the entire look of the outside of the house. This is a little cheap roller from the dollar store. As you can see on the brick, it starts to tear quite quite quickly. But again, these, this is like 25 cents. But look at all the stuff that it accomplished. That's only a skim coat. No brush, no nothing. From afar, it looks great, but it's far from good. Yes, yes it is. You can see that you're definitely gonna need to get some paint or a different roller, which is a pro version that I should have used. But I did this in only a couple of minutes. So save yourself a couple hundred or maybe even a couple thousand dollars. And just do this yourself. What do you think? Does it look good? So this is just on one gallon so far. One skim coat, probably gonna need at least another one. And this will do the entire back of the house. So if you don't a whole house, I imagine you're gonna do at least five gallons, which will cost you about $200. Those are just my current estimates here. That's how easy it is. We're gonna get a longer ladder for up there. All right, so so we've got this much done. I'm just gonna step back a little. Now it looks good from afar, but it's far from done. It's easy to put on the skim coat, so it looks like it's finished. But honestly, time that it takes to paint in all the grout in between, I think that's what it's called is painstakingly long so i can understand why people would hire someone to spray paint their house now you could get yourself or rent yourself a spray paint gun 
It's gonna cost you maybe 150 bucks a day. But uh, I think I'd rather just, you know, spend three days off and on painting this and do it at my own pace. And it's not even about saving money. It's honestly about just taking it bit by bit. And we're gonna have to go get some more uh, gallons of paint and finish this off.